Welcome back, dear friends. I hope you enjoyed the opportunity to relax a little bit more because our next session is going to be very packed with information, but of course, practical information. And it's going to cover the things that a lot of our colleagues are worried about in the world of e-learning on reducing turnover with e-learning. So before we proceed to Ariana and her amazing presentation, I've just had a chance to have a very quick look into her slides and it is very intriguing indeed. So before we go on, I'd like to ask you to share an emoji or some very uh, friendly greeting in a chat to help me understand that you guys are back after the break, that you're all set and ready for Ariana's presentation. So uh, just an emoji or some signal that you're all back and you have completed the activity that you planned for this tiny little uh, short break. So um, yay, I can see your emojis, your waves, your high fives. Fantastic, Sarah, Catherine, Abby, Shelby, Kara, Michelle, Katrina, Jaharis. Thank you so much, guys. Michael, of course. I feel like you're my uh, digital friend now. All right. Uh, let's see. Now we seem we yeah, we seem to be pretty pretty prepared for for the session pretty well. So I'm looking forward to hearing from Ariana because she's going to discover innovative strategies to tackle the challenge of high employee turnover. So by leveraging the power of e-learning, Ariana will share some practical techniques to improve employee retention rates and boost organizational productivity. Ariana, how are you today? Hey, everyone. Hey, Chris, I'm doing wonderful. You know, it's Friday. How about you? <laughs> yeah, well, um, on the one hand, pretty excited since we are progressing. I feel like this is going to be the end of a very long uh, and a very long awaited event. But on the other hand, I feel a bit sad because, well, it's it's so much fun and it's so great to meet all those fantastic people. So kind of mixed feelings. Anyway, I suggest that I stop now and transition to you because I'm very much looking forward to your presentation. OK, wonderful. OK, thank you. So. Hi everyone again, my name is Ariana Cole and I'm an account executive at iSpring Solutions. My story began three years ago when I joined iSpring as a digital marketing manager. I dedicated most of my time to search engine optimization. I was really passionate about improving the current things and finding new ways on how to bring iSpring to the top. However, I really wanted to take an active part in helping our clients achieve their goals. This is how I ended up in sales. And since then, every day I help businesses achieve 100% compliance, in, improve the employees' productivity, and cut stuff to an over. And this is what we're going to talk about today. So let's start. I want to ask you one question before we begin. How many of you are dealing with employee turnover right now? How many of you think that their business is dealing with employee turnover? Please uh, type your answers in the chat. You know, last year, companies went through great resignation and almost 50 million people quit their jobs. For the business, employee leaving doesn't just mean a job is open, but the company is faced with lower productivity, a decline in morale, and you know the remaining colleagues struggling with increased workloads. Who does it resonate with? Oh, with Let's a lot of results. people, Arian. Yes, yes, indeed, we have quite many answers. Um, there is a lot of turnover in my organization, says Michael. We also use a lot of contract workers. Uh, Sarah says that I am the employee that o overturned. I guess mm -hmm. that was overturned. Uh, our client does, uh, says Amy. And we also have a comment that in Lauren's organization, in one department, there is this turnover issue. So pretty much every comment rolls around, yes, under different circumstances. Okay, yeah, then please stay with me. 
Many of you are acquainted with this problem, but let's eat an elephant one bite at a time and firstly define what implied turnover is. Employee turnover refers to the rate at which employees leave an organization and are replaced with new hires. It can be voluntary when employees decide to choose organization themselves or involuntary when employees get fired. The turnover rate is calculated by dividing the number of employees who leave the uh, who leave the organization by the total number of employees in the organization. Then times the total by 100 and the number left is your monthly staff turnover as a percentage. So we know what the employee turnover is and how to calculate it. But what causes it? What are the primary reasons for staff turnover? First of all, it's poorly organized or no onboarding. Setting Word documents or PDFs or links to some resources for self-loading doesn't work. If there is no properly organized and booting program, it takes months for new hires to start bringing their results. Some of them leave the company within the first two or three months. The second reason is that there is no continuous L&D on the top in the companies. The lack of continuous training doesn't allow your employees to hone their knowledge. If an employee can't grow, if there are no suitable conditions, they feel less confident in their skills and dedicate most of their time seeking guidance. As a result, employers see bad performance or employee burnout. And the last thing, the rest, the last reason I want to bring is that, you know, if if there is no employee development in the company. If you don't help your employees improve their competencies, they feel stagnated and undervaluated. The company has to deal with unengaged and unmotivated employees. Plus, they do not have their talent pool. These, these were the reasons, these were the reasons. But what are the typical challenges that companies have to deal with because of employee turnover? First of all, you know, and that's, you know, number one challenge is high recruiting costs. It includes the costs of living, um, the replacement costs and transition costs, such as advertising for new position, um, providing interviews and training new hires. It ranges from 33% to 200% of the departing employee salary. To, accur to accurately measure the total cost of employee turnover, organizations need to consider separation costs, replacement costs, and training costs, which include informational literature, training programs, and instructor costs. Additionally, they need to consider some uh, more challenging costs of transition and opportunity costs, absenteeism costs, and the costs of productivity loss. And, you know, this is the second, this is the second challenge, profitability losses. There is always a decline in productivity because of the low quality workers. Some employees uh, may have to work overtime to fill in the gaps that leads to additional costs. And the last challenge, the last challenge is that unengaged and unmotivated employees cause poor customer experience. One more question for you. One more question for you. What are the challenges you deal with on the daily basis? that I didn't miss, that, that I didn't cover, that I missed. Can you please type this in the chat? Sure, we'll be waiting for the answers in the chat. 
and I'm sure that uh, the, there will be a lot, a lot of different answers. Um, meanwhile, I'd like to support you, uh, Ariana, saying that um, there is a quite good discussion in the chat about this uh, issues that the issues that you have covered specifically about losing all the knowledge and experience when the person is leaving and it's always so painful and you know one of the best employee retention strategies is a great onboarding or orientation so there is just a lot of support that our um, attendees share um, in the chat and we really appreciate that right. okay yeah wonderful you know even my husband right now is considering to leave the company. Mm -hmm. He is there mm -hmm. for two months. And okay. as for the onboarding program there, uh, you know, the employer just say, shared some links to Confluence. Mm -hmm. And you know, that that was really frustrating. And right now, even my husband, even my husband is considering to leave this. Yeah, I hope the employees of your husband, the employers of your husband, pardon me, uh, have a chance to check your presentation and uh, <laughs> understand the, the terrible mistakes they're doing, right? Right. Um, so let's check out some of the answers. Um, sure. Cost to rehire, losing, oh, pardon me, I'm so sorry, that was the wrong one. That was the previous comment. So mm -hmm. expectations are not clearly expressed during the talent acquisition process. Mm-hmm. Leaders who do not coach or develop their teams and, and individuals on the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that hiring is right. Manage, yeah, that is right. Hiring managers are, are very, very greatly in their skills with onboarding. So it can be very different in terms of how skillful they are onboarding people. Yeah. Many of Alicia, them are not, you know, tutors. Yeah, exactly. Alicia mentions about the, um, about no points of contacts. Mm, yeah, the, this 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 really great one. No parts of contact when new hires do not know who to address their questions right. to. You know who is in their team, who is their company. So again, it leads to employee turnover. Absolutely. Uh, Carmen says training for management is also important. The focus can be only on training and onboarding for employees. That is also right. Yes. Yes, but, you know, mostly we're dealing with new hires. Mm -hmm. And Shelby would, would share with us, the challenge I face is others respecting boundaries when I'm brought in to assist with other areas outside of my normal training duties due to turnover, burnout, hard to complete my main tasks, etc. That's um, That's very painful to read this. Yeah. This is really painful, you're right. All right, we have many more answers, Ariane, but I guess we might want to move on and progress with your presentations and later you'll be able to familiarize yourself with all the answers because we have the chat saved and I guess we just may want to proceed. Okay, yeah, sure. All right, so to maintain a positive financial outcome, it's critical for companies to reduce employee turnover. The reasons for employee turnover can be solved with the properly organized training for newcomers and existing employees. This can be easily done with the help of e-learning. And according to an article on Workable, and Workable is the leading hiring platform in the world, uh, by supporting training and performance, managers can avoid their high turnover rate of 20% of new hires living within the first 45 days. Ongoing service and feedback identify issues and foster supportive communication with employees to ensure that they feel heard and valued. So when implementing and learning, when implementing and learning, what can companies expect? First of all, foster and higher impact on boarding. With Elonian, you can build consistent and effective self-paced onboarding program. Your new hires will have the necessary skills and knowledge to perform at their job effectively. Therefore, your employees feel more confident and competent in their skills. Secondly, a lot of companies have remote workers, you know, just like 
I spring in offices all over the country or the world. With the help of e-learning, you can standardize your training and provide the same experience for all employees, no matter where they are. If your employee goes to, you know, to another location, you don't have to spend time and money on retraining them. Thirdly, if your learners are interested in self-development, they can always get 24-7 on-demand training, any device, anytime, anywhere. They can implement their knowledge immediately when there is a need for that, you know, compared to the traditional approach. Thus, employers can see faster and better results. Fourthly, this, this is really my favorite one because I always say engagement is the name of the game. Learners who are engaged, interested, committed, and keen to learn will get more out of any course they are doing both at the time and afterwards. Engagement significantly increases the probability that people will use what they learned and change their behavior. With e-learning, you can make your training more interactive and engaging with quizzes, interactions, role plays, videos, voiceovers, and etc. The last thing, automated reporting and analytics. The eternal question is how can L&D and HR correlate training and business results? Get reports that can prove the correlation and effectiveness of your training. Get the deep understanding of why some trainings are not as effective as others. And again, a question for you. What are your expectations when implementing an online training? When implementing e-learning in your company, what are your expectations? Mm hmm. Right. Let's see what expectations people would have. And while we are waiting for attendees answers, I would like to ask you, Ariana, when it comes to the most unusual expectation that you have ever heard, what was it or the most shocking or the most um, maybe weird, I would say? Mm -hmm. Do you mean like what do they expect when they implement learning the most shocking one? Yeah. For instance, once I've heard that um, from a colleague that was ordering an online workshop, that the whole sole expectation that the whole team had was to entertain the big boss. So the, the biggest purpose was to make sure that the big boss feels that it's fun and engaging and uh, nobody else was actually requesting any training in this specific field. It was just that it was targeting the egoistic expectations of one specific leader in the hierarchy, which to me was extremely weird. I don't know if you have ever come across some unusual situations. Ah, uh, yeah, I I'm afraid, you know, I, I didn't, you know, have something like that. I, I never faced like that. Most of the expectations are quite, um, you know, I wouldn't say traditional, but um, they, they, they all connected with the business, like drive their revenue, you know, it all depends on the industry, but you know, it, there is no, nothing shocking about that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lauren is sharing with us that, um, well, at least they say same thing. So strange. I wonder if that relates to my story, Lauren, I guess it does. So maybe that was just, um, an expectation to satisfy, um, some bosses um, need for entertainment and something like that. Uh, let's see what the other colleagues would share with us in the chat. Uh, there is a little delay, I'm afraid, so we're still waiting for the other answers. While we're waiting, maybe we could progress, um, Ariana, and uh, just uh, read out the answers a little later. Yeah, okay, let's progress that. And, you know, now I want to share with you the results companies typically achieve with iSpring, with iSpring Learn LMS. 
So the first one, the first one, first of all, they get engaged and motivated employees that are willing to work. I have a story here, a story here of one of our clients. Uh, Knox Community Hospital is a 99-bed community hospital located in Mount Vernon, Ohio. In order to ensure excellent quality of service, regular training is required for all employees. Before I spring, training at Knox was very generic. They provided training materials in PowerPoint or PDF format and put a task at the end. Employees would simply click through static slides and take the test again and again until they passed. They saw that learners were not getting the information and knowledge they needed. In addition, employees were complaining that all the procedure was always the same. Read it and then take the test. Um, then, sorry. Um, pardon me. They when they implemented the learning, when they implemented iSpring, they created over 30 interactive courses on different topics from customer service to laboratory specimen labeling. And as a result, their employees report that they enjoy iSpring courses and find them very helpful. And right now, employees are actually learning the course material with the help of built-in interactive quizzes. That sounds really great. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it does. Indeed, Ariana. Uh, the only concern I have is that we have about seven minutes till the end of your um, block of time. So uh, I guess we might want to proceed to the other parts of the presentation. Yeah, sure. So the second outcome that um, our clients usually get is that uh, high retention rates. If you have engaged and motivated employees that are willing to work, they retain the info much better. And again, here a story, Villa St. Vincent, a senior living community that provides holistic senior care and services. Nursing care services are performed by certified nursing assistants. To become a certified nursing assistant, uh, a person has to pass an exam. Prior to ice spring, uh, they taught the classes in person. Uh, so actually, a registered nurse would be pulled off the floor and would have to teach students 43 hours of content in person on a set schedule. Often, students would have to drive a notable distance and, you know, in winter, it can be quite challenging in northern Minnesota. That is why they decided to put content online. And with iSpring, they moved this 43 hours from 75 total hours of the training program. They've created an approved training program for certified nursing assistants. And as a result, they increased employee retention from 69% to 86%. Now, this, this results are really amazing. And the last, what I want to say, uh, what I want to talk about, but what's really important is that if you have engaged and motivated employees that are willing to work, they retain the info much better. Uh, that companies reduce their costs because, you know, he, right now, um, instead of finding new employees to, sub to, so, to substitute those who leave the company, they find new employees and they grow their business. And again, a story here, Jess is a Pakistan largest internet and broadband service provider with over 66 million subscribers. Uh, they previously used instructor-led classroom training. Uh, the affronted representatives would attend workshops in a classroom setting where a trainer would give them a live lecture accompanied by a slide presentation. 
The challenge with this approach was that imparting knowledge took a lot of time and resources, as certain courses specific to some franchises lasted over a month. Furthermore, the time it took to onboard trainers, modify the curriculum and travel and accommodation costs also proved to be an issue. Even though they had eight highly qualified, efficient trainers who would travel from city to city around the clock, they couldn't address the needs of all their representatives in a timely manner. So again, with the implementation of iSpringLearn, they created a great amount of engaging and learning content. Uh, and as a result, first of all, they have reduced their training costs by at least 30%. They increased the number of participants more than five times, and they have just a 10% increase in external NPC due to increased training efficiency. So these results are really amazing. Really amazing. So that is why, because we have, we are, you know, almost over the time, I, will, I would skip this part, I would skip this question. And then, for those of you who are still considering, uh, we have various types of subscriptions. Attachment. We have different options. Totally recommend with going iSpring Learn Start if you are looking to provide onboarding, product training, compliance, knowledge assessments, and if your company uh, has more than 50 employees. Totally recommend going with iSpring Learn Business. Uh, if again, you're going to provide onboarding, product training, compliance, knowledge assessments, plus product channel, partner channel training, employee development, and if you have uh, 100 employees plus. If you're interested to learn more about iSpring pricing, you know, various options, you would like to discuss your project in more detail, see what's the best option for you with iSpring and see how we can help you. You can book a meeting with me by following uh, the QR code that you can see on the right slide, Calendly, Calendly, this is my calendar. You can also follow me on LinkedIn, we can chat here as well. So then it's time for questions and answers. Yay! Fantastic, Ariana. Thank you so much. And thank you for sharing your um, QR codes for LinkedIn and, and also Calendly. This is extremely convenient. Maybe we can keep them on the screen for some little more time mm -hmm. so that people could scan and definitely schedule a meeting or start to chat with you. Honestly, I feel they're very privileged that you have openly shared your Calendly with them. So yeah, it's a rare opportunity to book a slot on Ariana's schedule. So <laughs> dear colleagues, dear participants, dear attendees, if you have any uh, questions to Ariana, please feel free to ask. Oh, we do have um, Carmen is asking, with information rapidly changing and technology continually improving and changing, how can iSpring help in this area? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Do you mean, Carmen, do, do, do you mean that um, the technologies, the information in the training, like when, when people, l and department, HR people do the training? Mm. I just need to double check that. Because actually at iSpring, you know, we provide you with tools that can help you drive your business, cut employee to know where, which reach 100% compliance and, you know, much more. We provide exceptional customer support. You know, we actually help you set everything up, um, you know, and achieve your goals. But if we're talking about the information that is rapidly changing, this is the um, this is about the L&D department and the HR people who are actually creating this training, who can address this on time. Mm -hmm. I, um, I hope that answers. Yeah, I still haven't received any comment from Carmen, but regardless uh, of uh, any specificity that she meant, I would love, of course, to hear what she she meant. I would uh, also love to clarify from you, I guess, 
um, regardless of the area that Carmen implied, I guess iSpring is also updating constantly all the tools that you guys are using, all the materials that you're uploading, all the technical updates that you're rolling out. I guess these are all also uh, the items that help you stay afloat. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. And, you know, you know, there are new releases, there are new things almost each month. You know, we are mm -hmm. constantly working, uh, we are constantly improving our products mm -hmm. you know, for, for our clients. Sure. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ariana. I'm so sorry that I haven't heard back from Common, but regardless, um, I'm afraid we would need to move on with our next session, but I would love to have you with us for some uh, longer time and experience the other presentations with the other speakers. Uh, and of course, feel free to chat with the participants in our YouTube chat. If there are other questions coming for Ariana, I'm sure she'll be able to answer them either in the chat or um, via LinkedIn, right? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Ariana. We have Thank lots so of, much. of course, we have lots of thankful comments in the chat for your presentation. Thanks, Ariana. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of thank you comments. All right. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure for me to be here and share, you know, my insights on such a, you know, big problem that, you know, that almost each company faces right now. But sure. Yeah. All, All right. right. Thank you, Ariana. We'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys.